We're still looking at quadratics and we're going to look at a technique called completing the square. So the idea of this is to write this into some sort of form where we have a bracket with a square on it and then some additional term on the end. And the reason this is useful is because it can really help us solve these equations because we get rid of having this x squared and a 4x uh, which makes it and when I say these equations I mean when we set these equal to something else on the other side these are just expressions for now um, but yeah we just have an terms involving x inside a square and then when we take square roots and stuff we can actually just solve for x directly um, so what we do the technique is we just ignore this additional term on the right and we just deal with this section and we half the x coefficient, so we open up some bracket, we write x plus, and then we half this coefficient, and we square it, okay? But if we expand this out, we get x squared plus 4x, but then plus 4, and we don't have a plus 4 in this section, remember we're ignoring this 9 for now, so we take the 4 off, okay? And then we still have our plus 9. So this bit here is equal to this bit okay they're the same and then the plus nine is just the plus nine and then obviously we can combine the the plus nine and the minus four um and we just get plus five okay and that is the complete the square form so hopefully that makes sense we'll do one more example negative sign doesn't change the technique we half that coefficient okay this gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9 so we take the 9 off and then we have the plus 1 so that gives x minus 3 squared minus 8 okay that's all we're going to look at in this video I'm going to do it in the next video but I encourage you before then to set say set this equation equal to 0 set this equation equal to 0 and try and use the technique we've done here to find x Thank you very much for watching. If you did find this video useful, please be sure to leave it a like. Any support on the channel is much appreciated. Uh, subscribe for more math tutorials. See you in the next one and have a great day.